what a week it was. Back at Lonato to decide the 2020 WSK Euro Series. With world travel restrictions finally easing, 226 drivers from 34 nations arrived at the Northern Italian Circuit for a double header race weekend. We qualified on Wednesday morning and raced through to the finals of round two on Sunday morning and round three on Sunday afternoon, which were broadcast live around the world on WSK.IT. A total of 88 races plus qualifying raced throughout the week. Sunday morning and the four finals raced meant that the championship started to take shape leading into Sunday afternoon's final round three. However, the previous day's pre-finals would also contribute to the overall result. Reigning world champion Moraine Kramers taking the lead in the 66 Ricardo Kart not long after the start and going on to take a classy victory from series leader Ricardo Longhi and Matteo Vigano. But the Dutchman would not start the final round three after that pre-final DNF. Series leader Ricardo Longhi started nervously back on grid 19 as his teammate Giuseppe Palomba raced into third behind the Dutch Saudi car driver Bas Lammers and Alex Irlando. He cleared out in the number five Birolat to win the race from Lammers. Longhi crossed the line in 11th, but that was enough to win the 2020 WSK Euro Series in KZ2 by just five points over Palomba with Alex in third. As ever, OK produced fantastic racing and it was quite simply a fight between Kart Republic and Tony Kart. Antonelli scored the first victory in race one, leading home Joseph Turney and Juhal Valtonen. The Finn backing up from his fine podium at Sano for Team Pantano, but realistically was out of sight for the title. In race two, Turney reminded us again why he is one of the top talents to emerge from the UK in the past decade. He shot into the lead as Antonelli suffered off the start, falling back to seventh and second in the series. However, he fought his way back into fourth behind Valtonen as Turney led Wart Racing's Russian Nikita Bedron home for a Tony Kart 1-2. And with that, Last year's WSK Euro Series Junior Champion claimed the 2020 OK Senior title. Antonelli also claiming the Acci Sport Italian Championship, which was run in conjunction with the WSK Euro Series. Spinner raced and won the first round of the series at Sardon for Cetila Racing Kart Republic. But he arrived at Lonato painted green. He lined up as a factory Tony Kart driver in the 304 Vortex powered Tony, the Sicilian looking to win the series for two different manufacturers at the same time. He got Sunday away to a perfect start, winning round two from fastest qualifier Brando Badoea and the four English drivers, Josh Irfan, Arvid Lindblad, Maxwell Dodds and Harley Keeble. But in round three, it was the WSK Supermaster Series champion Lindblad who led in 3-0-1 to take the victory from Spinner and Badoia. But second place was enough for Il Siciliano to win the WSK Euro Series title. 60 Mini was mighty and it came down to the second last corner of the final lap of the weekend to decide the title. Back at Sano in July, Kim Nakamura Berta won the race and after winning Sunday morning's final two was a red hot favourite to take the title. But in the round three final, Rene Lummers was determined and destined to finally break through for a maiden WSK victory. Antonio Apicella led the way for most of the race before Lummers forced his way into the lead on the last lap, taking not only the race win, but the WSK Euro Series title too. 
The Slovenian former ski racer Marcus Delic finished second from Apicella and fourth for the Japanese driver Nakamura meant that he missed the title to the Dutch driver for Team Baby Race by 295 points to 278. A fabulous weekend of racing at the centre of the karting universe. A short break before we go back to Adria on November 23 to 29 for another double header race weekend, the WSK Open Cup. And then to finish on a high, a bizarre and memorable 2020 on December 13 at the foot of the active volcano Mount Vesuvius outside Naples, simply known as Sano for the WSK Final Cup. See you at Adria in November.